Okay. My name is Lauren Stanley and today I'm going to be showing you the intramuscular injection sites. So the first one is going to be the deltoid muscle. Um, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to make my patient take her shirt off, but if this were a regular patient, I would make sure that her deltoid muscle and her shoulder were showing. And it's going to be in this area right here in this triangle. You're going to use a one to one and a half inch needle, uh, 22 to 25 gauge, um, a one milliliter syringe, and the max volume is going to be 0.5 to 1 milliliters, and you're going to inject at a 90 degree angle. Next is going to be the vastus lateralis. It's going to be this outer portion on the thigh right here. And for the vastus lateralis, you're going to do a one and a half to three inch needle with a 22 to 25 gauge, um, a one to three milliliter syringe, and the max volume is going to be three to five milliliters. And you can do this one at a 45 to 90 degree angle. Next is going to be the rectus femoris. Sorry. For this one, you're going to find the gluteal fold and the hip. You're going to divide it into thirds and it's going to be this middle portion right here. For this one, you're also going to do a one and a half to three inch needle with a 22 to 25 inch gauge. You're going to use a one milliliter syringe and the max volume is two milliliters. And you're going to do this one at a 90 degree angle. Um, next is the dorsal gluteal. Sorry. Um, this side is not recommended, so I'm not going to go over it. You're going to avoid this because it's close to the sciatic nerve. Um, but the last site is going to be the vastus lateralis. So for this one, um, you're going to put your heel on the greater trochanter, your middle finger on the iliac crest, and your index finger on the um, anterior superior iliac spine. And it's going to be this region right here between my two fingers. And for the um, ventral gluteal, you're going to use a one and a half to a three inch needle. It's going to be a 20 to 25 gauge, and you're going to use a three milliliter syringe. Um, the max volume is going to be two and a half to three milliliters, and it's going to be injected at a 90 degree angle.